Tim, this is a new service on tour. How important is it? It's incredibly important. Uh, golfers are a high-risk group. They follow the sunshine around the world continually and are exposed to the elements. And it's a very common cancer, of course, skin cancer, isn't it? It's very common. There's over 100,000 new cases of skin cancer in the UK alone. And what sort of uh, reaction have you had from the players? Are they enthusiastic about the service? They've been very enthusiastic, um, and I think rightly so. We have uncovered some serious and some not-so-serious problems that need addressing. Yeah. So you would say that everyone, even if they are Northern European like, like we are, get yourself checked for skin cancer? Absolutely. If you can get yourself screened, get yourself screened. So, Angela, what does the screening actually involve? Well, we're looking for skin cancer, and the machine we're using is called a cyoscope, and it's an infrared light that allows us to see two millimetres down below the surface of the skin. So it's a very sensitive way of examining what's going underneath. Mm. Does it hurt? No, it's a non-invasive procedure, and if you've got something for me to do, Diggy, we'll have a look for you. I just need to spray a little bit of contact... This helps to reflect the light into the machine. And hopefully it's, you won't notice that this hurts. Gently place it on, and I'm looking to see that it's roughly in the middle of the screen. And I press my button, we keep still. It takes three or four seconds. And it's nearly ready. It doesn't look very attractive on the screen, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a problem, does it? No, that's right. So here we are, a magnified picture of that mole on your arm. And the next picture down is the amount of melanin, the melanocytes that give it its colour, the pigment. And the next picture down is dermal melanin. Now, for a mole to be remotely sinister, I'd have to see something in that screen. And as you can see, that's good news, there's nothing there. And it could look from green to blue to red, depending on how far it dipped down into the next layer. The next picture down is the blood, and again that looks a nice healthy blood supply for that particular mole, and we can see the collagen as well. So it's very clever, the way we can see what's going on underneath. Mm. And it's as straightforward as that, nothing to worry about, it, at nope. least with that one. So how long does the whole process take, Angela? That's as long. We can generally uh, check people over. If you've noticed any changes, that's the biggest thing. If you notice changes in a mole, that's important, and they will obviously screen those particular moles. Um, and places like your backs you can't always see so again we check your backs for you and if you've burnt as a child all these things we go through an extensive history and sit down and talk to you so the whole procedure takes about 20-25 minutes and uh, hopefully we've got good news at the end It's very straightforward, everyone should should have it done shouldn't they? Exactly, especially lots of people that are exposed to a lot of sunlight for a cumulative amount of time Um, ears get very susceptible faces and there's lots of different types skin cancer, malignant melanomas which are the killers, one in four people die of a malignant melanoma but the other types of skin cancer are the basal cell carcinomas and the squamous cell carcinomas and we can detect them as well